All right, guys, here is the quick rundown with the motors, motor mountings in front of me. Then these all come with the kit. I'm going to give you a quick description of what comes um, with your kit, mainly the motor, uh, the motor mount section, because this is one of the critical parts that I, I, I feel needs to be uh, the most uh, stout, robust, and um, needs to be sturdy. So uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown for the smallest, the medium. And then the the big boy. So, uh, yeah, I'll make this video extremely quick so you guys can check it out. But first up is the runt motor mount. And these are all made out of aluminum. And they are um, CNC'd with the bolt pattern. Now, this will carry all the boat um, motor uh, mount that you have. Uh, the, the, the bolt holes should, should fit all of them. Um, I was going with the, the regular old four four bolt hole but then uh, I, I wanted to do the uh, multiple that way you can turn the motor and that will give you uh, you know your wires are kicking kicking out to the side you can switch depending on which um, which way your ESC is mounted so uh, just th that was one of the reasons um, and I'm again I'm working with Tim uh, Tim's helping me out with this so uh, I just basically tell him you know what what I would like to see and then um, he will give me a test piece and, uh, they're, they're looking really good. So these are the motor mounts or this is the motor mount for the runt and it's real small. And, uh, it's actually just enough to where you can see, there you go. If you see it right there, kind of see how it looks and then you can turn it. It's going to, it's going to hit every, every bolt hole once my thumb is out of the way. So you can turn it, and then uh, this pattern here works for even even the larger sizes. So this is just a runt runt motor, but um, but yeah, that one works pretty good. Um, and then the next up is the uh, flinch and the juggernaut uh, motor mount. So it's pretty big. Usually comes um, like this because uh, we don't really polish it because it takes quite a while, and uh, we leave that up to you so that way you guys can see it. And uh, I'll show you the polish compound that we use. So, or that I use, I found on Amazon. So hopefully you guys can check it out and use it on other parts that you guys have if you guys do decide to polish it up. But you can see it's um, all CNC and then we, um, or he bends them. I used to bend them in my brake, but it started leaving little scuff lines. And it worked pretty good, but um, his brake works a lot better compared to mine. Mine's kind of like a brute force type brake. Um, and then we have uh, the bigger one uh, motor mount here for um, you can kind of see oh, it would be in the camera right there um, The uh, how much polish it is. Now I try to wipe some of the stuff down um, uh, with, a, with a rag and kind of scratch it up but this is for the behemoth and the uh, the dreadnought um, the larger frames but I found that uh, this polish compound works pretty good this Lucas I think it was like seven I don't know ten but around ten bucks I'm not too sure around ten dollars on Amazon so it worked pretty good and then uh, put on the buffing wheel and it came out pretty good but this bolt pattern um, works for all of them I think this one might be a little bit bigger and uh, it works for all the motors even the bigger bigger size so they're all they're all relatively um the same yeah this one we opened it up just just a hair actually not just a hair it's a little bit more because of the the on the bigger the bigger bolts are the uh the bigger motors are freaking huge and they they open them up uh, we, we went up a little bit larger in, in size there but it, this one will cover everything, and it is thicker. And I've been using this for quite a while. So weight, my wings don't really, really aren't affected by the, by this. This is um, insurance that your this will stay on even after a crash. So multiple crashes, this will not get hurt. This is meant to be. You can probably, you know, pass this down to your kids. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. But it's it's heavy duty aluminum, and uh, once you scratch it up and and glue it to the bottom, uh, these have been on my builds for man since I started building them. Um, so progression from previous builds, uh, you can kind of see uh, what we went through, and and if you had an older kit of mine, it was all done by snips and the shear and I was cutting them all by hand so now we're seeing seeing them and we're we're stepping stepping progress up a notch with these and uh and and why um this is a little bit longer um it's just it, it gives you that much more strength on the runt and it, this doesn't really affect cg um it's just you want that you want that bite so this all this right here is that added strength on your wing and this right here um, is a nice footprint. This is even just like the old ones, uh, my older ones, uh, motor mounts. So it's nice and big. Um, you can put, depending on how your layout is for your motor, if, you, if it's in or outward, you can put uh, like a leftover spar on the backside just to give it um, more strength. Or if your main spar is back here, then you can put one back here, which um, further, which increases the strength. And for the Behemoth and Dreadnought, um, in the diagram that I give you guys, I tell you to put an extra um, spar back here. I think there's two. You can put one or two, just depending on what you want to do. Um, and then the main spar is usually about here, depending on what your layout's at. And then you put an, an additional spar back here, and that really stiffens this up. So there really isn't going to be an issue for it um, for for being damaged. And then this is just going to hold forever. Um, another thing I will add to is on the back of my motors or on the back of the wings is that the way it's cut and the way uh, the motor and the back of the wing meet the blunt section this may bend a little but it it can it can it's nothing that can be bent back so it's gonna stay locked in um yeah that's pretty much it so that way you guys can see them uh up close and these are in the kits and i try to keep the cost down um for these so i'm ending up i'm um, spending money on these so they look nice but i'm not adding the price in the in the kits so all the kits have been the same ever since and i'm just adding better parts in there for you guys so that way you guys are um get all the cool stuff so uh yeah anyways that's the end of the video it's seven minutes and 30 seconds or so but anyways hit the like and the subscribe button uh the thumbs down if i did a bad job if you guys didn't like the video and uh yeah Make sure you guys uh, follow me on Instagram and stuff like that and Facebook. And uh, if you have a question, feel free to ask me and I will do my best to get back to you. All right, guys. Later.